Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. And over there is John Lewandowski. John, hey. I think it's this Iron Man. Look. Uh -huh. <laughs> Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. I know their logo is covered at the current moment. I am working on... Um, uh, uh, changing up our set at the current moment, so uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a set change in a second. Um, if you see me go like this for a second, I got the Packer game on the other screen. Um, so uh, it started seven. They need to stop. <laughs> so um, there's that. It's Packers Cowboys. There's prop. That's probably the second rivalry Green Bay has. Dating back to the ice bowl, so yep. So uh, there's that incomplete. <laughs> um, as 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 a Wisconsin, I I am kind of cheering over here. I could give two cares less about football, but. <laughs> I care about our local sports, but speaking of local sports, today the Admirals took on the Chicago slash Rosemont Wolves. Uh, the Wolf, the Admirals are 2-1 and one against the Wolves this season. Um, uh, Cooley has a win. Askarov has a win. Askarov has a loss. Well, can he add to the win or can he add to the loss category there? Well, let's find out. So I'm going to turn it over to my co-host here, Mr. John Luda. All right. As he said, the Admirals took on the Wolves today. Um, shots on goal in the first period for Milwaukee, 12, Chicago, 8. Shots in the second period for Milwaukee, 23, Chicago, 8. Shots in the third period, Milwaukee, 6, Chicago, 12. For total shots for Milwaukee of 41 and 28 for Chicago. Now on the power play, Milwaukee went one for two with eight minutes, four infractions. Chicago went one for three with six minutes, three infractions. All righty. So with that, um, the uh, first period was a didn't start off quite the way the Admirals had hoped. And Tony Hawk scores his second goal of the season with an assist from Malte Small, uh, Malte Stromwall and Jamison Reese. The simple names I can't get, and the hard ones I get perfectly. Tell me how that works. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, that was on the power play. Uh, Reese is sixth, and Stromwall third. Then Jimmy Huntington scores his second of the season with an assist from Kiefer Sherwood. His second, Kiefer had a really good game. Um, and Igor Afanasi have his second. Go! Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, then uh, Spencer Stastny scores his first pro goal with an assist from Luke Evangelista, our, our team points leader. And Phil Tomasino, his fourth. Uh, then scoring was uh, William uh, Lagason, his third, with an assist from Jamison Reeves, his seventh, and Vasily Panamara, his first. In the second, the Admirals get on the board with a goal from Igor Avanasiev, his fifth, assisted by Jimmy Huntington, his second. Then Chicago gets on the board from Oliver Cooper, assisted by Ronan Seeley, his third. Then the Admirals get on the board with a goal from John Lennard, uh, his first, assisted by Mark Delgaizo, his second, and Igor Afanasiev, his third. That was on the power play. Then Milwaukee scores again from Tommy Novak, his fourth, and Cole Schneider, his third. All righty. Uh, then uh, you have in the third, Nothing until about 10 seconds left of the game. Kiefer Sherwood gets the EN, the empty netter, his third goal of the year for him, with an assist from Tim Schaller, his fourth, and Kevin Graval with his third. And 
In net for the Wolves was Rockford Ice Hogs former goaltender, even though he was wearing his Ice Hogs mask today. Uh, he, Cal Morris, he stopped 35 of 40, uh, letting in five goals against uh, Igor, Igor Apodafiev, Yaroslav Ask. <laughs> Too many Russians! <laughs> Yaroslav Askarov stops 25 of 28. Um, the Admirals out hit them, out played them. Uh, very, they definitely dominated in, in puck possession. Um, I think that was a great game for them. Good bounce back. What we needed, we now have more five players over ten points. Um, this team's a lot of fun to watch. Whether they're winning or losing, they're always trying. Um, other and other games to watch. Manitoba beats Calgary in our division. So let's take a look at the standings real quick while we're here. Uh, Manitoba would have jumped over us. Um, however, uh, Texas, if they beat Rockford, uh, they will jump over us by a point. Um, uh, Texas has played th two. Will at the completion of this game played two more games than us. Um, so there's that. Uh, in other news around the division, I see uh, Rockford plays on Wednesday against Grand Rapids. That is a school day game. Man, what's up with all the early season school day games? Right. Uh, the Admirals are back on Friday against Iowa. Looking for a little redemption there. Um, And the Preds are back on Tuesday. So tomorrow is a luckful day off. So um, that's all I got for you guys there. Um. We will see you guys on Tuesday, and I uh, will. Uh, we will be covering the Preds and uh... Oops. Wild, wild. Okay, which means that we, will... John, you'll have to come over. So we'll have to talk about that. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. We will see y'all later. Peace.